Behold BMW Motorrad's newest R1200GS. Poster child for all things adventure touring. It also happens to be the best selling motorcycle in Europe and it has enjoyed the benefit of some three decades of refinement. At the heart of this go anywhere, do anything puppy is the very latest twin cam, air and water cooled, horizontally opposed, twin cylinder power plant. Mated by a wet clutch to a six speed transmission and shaft final drive. The new engine also sports an optional selectable riding mode system that gives you different power delivery curves. While the classic BMW telelever and paralever suspension systems has available dynamic ESA, which allows riders to select four different suspension setups with the push of a button. Remember when you needed a screwdriver to do that? Meanwhile, in the braking department, the ABS system can now be disabled with, well, you guessed it, the push of a button. So how does all this technology and refinement stack up against the rest of the Adventure Sport Pack? Well, here now is veteran enduro rider and national enduro champion, Kevin Burnett. So Kevin, we're all familiar and we know very well the, uh, the old air-cooled GS. This is the new liquid-cooled GS. What was your first impression when you saw it this morning? Was how neat and tidy they've managed to make it. Uh, they've gotten rid of all these loose items that were hanging out in the breeze before and they've tucked them away nicely. Even before you notice that it's actually liquid, you notice they've tidied it up. So let's, let's talk about that power plant. Um, the big thing I noticed going into the new liquid cooled motor, it doesn't feel like it has a flywheel. It just spins no, up so fast. It's quick. Uh, I've had a chance to ride the air cooled 1200s and this. Man, does this ever spool up fast. Yeah. It's agile and it's aggressive if you need it to be. Mm -hmm. It's good in a broad range of circumstances. I've been crawling around on wet grass with it and it, and it did just fine. It didn't try and jump, right? Yeah. Um, and then if you want to really wick it up on the road, it, it leaves. It's, uh, it's very, very impressive. How did you find the clutch and the shifting? Clutch is great. The shifting, I found that it still has that characteristic clunk to it. Yep. Um, it's good and solid. You know you're in the gear, for sure. BMW, uh, they were obviously one of the first guys on the scene with uh, ABS brakes. What do you think of the braking system now? I haven't found any fault in this braking at all. Uh, you've got all the different modes, and no matter which one you're in on pavement, you will stop on a dime, guaranteed. Works really well. Now you talked about the modes, we've got so many options to choose from now. We've got mapping, we've got suspension. What did you think of that? Did you play around a little bit with that? I've been playing with it. Uh, so we've got different riding modes. You've got some customizing of your own that you can do for suspension setup. Whether you've got a passenger, whether you've got passenger and luggage. You can choose whether you want the ABS on or off, on the fly. Right. And the same thing with your traction control, on the fly and it all works seamless, very good. What's the riding experience? Well, when I first picked it up, the, the seat was set for someone that's not six foot four. So I couldn't even get out of the parking lot. So I stopped, put the seat in its upper positions and everything just fell into place and it felt really natural from yeah. then on. For a six foot four, I'm imagining that's probably the upper range of their, uh, their setup. It works fine. What did you think of the luggage system? There's not a big change there. Well, they appear to be the same, yeah. but they are different. The, it's still the expandable luggage. They expand quickly, right? They come off quickly, and it leaves no framework behind, right? You normally have to pay extra to get that sort of rigging. So what do you think of the overall fit, finish, riding experience, just overall the, the paint? What do you think? Fit and finish is excellent. Uh, even on rough roads, I'm not hearing a lot of squeaking and rattling going on. Uh, it's probably only, well, probably only the windshield that's actually making any noise. The rest of it's solid. Um, and if you don't like the way it's going over those bumps, you adjust your suspension to soft or hard, and it's instant. It, and, and you can feel the difference every time. So who is this bike going to appeal to, and who is it going to satisfy? Anybody who wants to be ready for a broad range of weather conditions, this is quite the tool to do the job. It's, it's very, 
adjustable and uh, it will adapt to many, many situations. It's a good overall machine. Put a smile on your face? Oh yeah, yeah, still yeah. does. Yeah. Still does. <laughs> and it wheelies too. It does. <laughs> nice job. <laughs>